UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is continuing his warnings over the possibility of a no-deal Brexit. He says it looks very, very likely that an agreement on trade will not be reached with the EU ahead of Sunday's deadline. EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen also sounded alarm bells to the leaders of the bloc on Friday. Both sides have now warned people to prepare for a New Year's shock, as Neil O'Reilly reports. A darkening mood hangs over the UK and EU trade talks. They remain deadlocked on fisheries, the resolution of future disputes and competition rules. Britain fears being trapped in a deal that would oblige it to follow EU regulations. But comments from Ursula von der Leyen indicate a possible new flexibility on the part of the Commission. We have repeatedly made clear to our UK partners that the principle of fair competition is a precondition to privileged access to the EU market. But this is not to say that we would require the UK to follow us every time we decide to raise our level of ambition, for example, in the environmental field. They would remain free, sovereign, if you wish, to decide what they want to do. We would simply adapt the conditions for access to our market accordingly, the decision of the United Kingdom, and this would apply vice versa. Ireland's Prime Minister will be hopeful that that's the basis for a compromise. But for now, the consensus seems to be no deal is the more likely outcome. That's the prevailing mood right now. Um, but that said, um, similar comments were made um, uh, well, over a year ago in, in respect of, of the withdrawal treaty and um, um, the, the protocol. Um, so we have to, it remains to be seen. I mean, negotiations are still ongoing, um, and I think the implications are very serious for all concerned in the event of a no deal. At ports in the UK and France, we've already had glimpses of the potential consequences of no deal. The congestion has been caused by Brexit stockpiling and COVID-related delays. But without an agreement in the coming days, this is what the future may hold, at least in the short term. Neil O'Reilly, Euronews.